What is up all my geeks and gamers, TechGeek1019 here, coming at you with the second part of the biomes tutorial. Um, in this part of the biomes tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to pretty much customize your biome um, with trees and creatures to spawn. Um, so to do that, we're going to go into our biome gen sapphire here. Okay. And let me just open this up. Um, basically in here... Uh, inside of this looks like did I do that yes I did uh, inside of here we are going to uh, there's a bunch of stuff uh, that we can do uh, like biome decorators and stuff um, you can specify how many trees per chunk you want in your um, in your biome so we do this dot uh, the biome decorator dot trees per chunk and we could set that to any, let's do five. We'll do five trees per chunk. Um, we can also um, do the grass per chunk, which this is the uh, tall grass. Like the, um, yeah, the tall grass is what it's pretty much called. Uh, we'll do two for that one. Um, another thing you can specify, we're going to specify this down here, is your top and filler blocks. So we could do this dot top block equals, uh, let's, well, okay, so in order for trees to spawn, it either has to be dirt or grass, otherwise I don't think trees, uh, will spawn. Uh, if you don't want trees to spawn, um, then you could just get rid of that, and same thing with that. Um, we'll just go with grass right now. Uh, just to be safe, so we could show this tree spawning, and we'll do, we could do the, um, this dot filler block, um, this could be our, let's make this our ore, so the ore will, um, the ore will be the thing, uh, that is here, um, then we can also specify um, the creatures that spawn in here, um, not uh, having to do with the type, which is the uh, forest type, um, which means that the things that spawn are pigs, sheep, cows, and I don't think, I think that's about it. I think those are the things that spawn. So if we actually, um, we could do this dot spawnable creature list, and then we add, and inside of here we do a new spawn list entity, uh, not entity, and tree, and we'll do, let's, let me think, um, Let's have something weird spawn that usually doesn't spawn. Um, let's actually look inside of here, and we can go down and look at the entities. Where are they? They're somewhere. There they are. Uh, sheep, pig, chicken, cow. These are the four that spawn in everything, I think. Um, spider, zombie, skeleton, creeper... Let's make slimes, because slimes don't usually spawn in a forest. So we'll do entity slime dot class. Um, and then after that, we have how many they spawn in groups um, on average. Uh, so let's do like five. So five will spawn per group. And then the next two integers are the minimum and maximum per group. Um, we'll do the minimum could be 2, and the maximum could be 10. And there we go. So that's our spawnable creatures list. Another thing we can actually do with uh, the biome decorator is do um, big mushrooms per chunk, and cacti per chunk, uh, and clay per chunk, and stuff like that. Um, flowers per chunk, grass per chunk... What else do we have? What else? Um, mushrooms, brown and red per chunk. We could do that. Um, reeds per chunk. So that would be um, sugarcane. And, but we're going to do, I'm going to add some big mushrooms in here. 
and we're only going to do a few of those. We'll also do two of those. And um, that's basically just the basics of our um, custom generation. Let's uh, load up the world here. And we're going to need to generate a new one. Hopefully I could find one pretty quickly. Let's see. Hopefully I spawn right near one. We'll be able to tell by the color of the grass, obviously. Let's see here. Alrighty. Uh, let's look around real quick. Um, the last time I loaded this up, it, I found it pretty uh, pretty far away. But let's see if we can find one really quick. Uh, come on. Uh, well, we could make sure that it's not one of ours by um, using F3 and seeing what biome we're in. Uh, that looks like an ocean. Let's try to generate another one. Boom. There we go. Create new world. Let's see. Okay, let's see what we got over here. Um, let's see. Please, just let me find one. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. You know you want to. I'm probably just going to cut until I find one. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I uh, loaded up a couple of worlds a few times, and I finally spawned in um, our biome. You can see it says sapphire, and we got these trees all over the place. We got our grass, and we have our mushrooms spawning. And as you can see, our top layer is grass, and our middle layer, I mean our filler layer, this is what dirt would be, is our ore. Um, so this is a pretty nice biome, actually. There's there's some pigs. Uh, we've got some pigs over there. Let's see if we can find some slimes. Um, make sure that they actually did generate here. Um, wait, do slimes only come at night, even when it's just the default? Here's a gray sheep. Uh, so as you can see, the defaults are spawning in here. Pig, sheep, stuff like that. Looks like we're going into a new biome over there. So let's try to stay in our biome. I think slimes only spawn at night. So let's try to... So let's time set night. Let's see what we got. Come on, slimes. Spawn for me. Come on. You know you want to. All these piggies are here. Spawning in. So obviously the spawning's working. Uh, I just want to make sure... And uh, you are spawning too. Come on. Come on, slimes. You've got this. Wait. I think I heard a slime. Did I? Did I hear a slime? Hello? I hear sheep. And some pigs. And I see a zombie. And I see an enderman. But no slimes. Hmm. Come on, slimy, slimy, slimies. Where are you? Come on. I know you're here. And I know you want to spawn. Come on. Do it. I'm not going to waste my time. Uh, looking for slimes, so we'll just just take my word for it <laughs> that uh, the slimes. Also, uh, other things are this dot um, spawnable cave creature list, monster list, and water creature list. So you could add um, things that spawn in the water in your biome, things that spawn in caves in your biome. Um, so all that kind of stuff. Um, and that's pretty much it for biome customization. Since I do have extra time, 
Um, I'm going to go over something really quick that a bunch of you have been asking about, and it's how do you get it so that when you craft an item, that item has enchantments on it by default. And it's actually very simple. If we go into our crafting manager, and into our crafting recipe things, we do item, uh, item stack, enchanted, let's do boots, we'll do this, enchanted boots equals new item stack, and the item stack is going to be our, um, our boots, uh, dot boots. And that's going to be our boots. And then we do enchanted boots dot add enchantment. And we're going to, how about we add our, um, we add our, um, our speed boost level three by default. And let's also do, let's add, since they're boots, we'll do, um, enchantment dot, uh, let's do feather falling. And we'll do feather falling too. How about that? And, can you add stuff above five? Let's test that. Feather falling ten. Let's do that. Um, and then we also have to go down to our boots down here, and instead of having new item stack, uh, we're gonna do this, and inside of this parentheses, we're gonna have enchantment boots. Oh, no, sorry, not enchantment boots, enchanted boots. So it's parentheses parentheses, and then this stuff, the usual stuff. Uh, so if we start up our client here, let's see here. Um, one flaw with this is that, um, if you get it out of creative mode, it does not have the enchantments. I am not sure why, um, but I will figure, figure that out uh, for you guys, and I'll get back to you probably in the next episode and let you guys know how to actually fix that, because see, like, we don't get that. But if we do do our normal crafting recipe, we have speed boost 3, feather falling 10, so you can do enchantments above 5, uh, above the normal enchantments if you want. So we could do feather falling 10, and so now our boots are extremely OP, um, and yeah. So then we could do uh, the same thing for a chest plate. We would just have to do a new uh, item stack thing, enchanted chest, we'll call it, and then equals new item stack, uh, sapphire items dot chest plate sapphire. And then, oops, let me fix that. And then we could do, uh, enchanted, enchanted chest, um, dot add enchantment, um, we could do enchant, enchantment, uh, dot protection, let's do protection 10. And let me just copy this. And then we could do enchantment dot thorns. Put thorns 10 on there. And now if we load this up, once again, I will figure out how to make it so that if you take it out of creative mode, it has the enchantments already on them. Um, but right now we'll just stick with crafting them because um, that's what you guys wanted. But here we go. Craft our chest plate. Why? Oh, I know what I forgot. Uh, yeah, let me, hold on. I forgot to change this right here. Into enchanted chess. Enchanted. There we go. Now it should be good. Have to remember to put enchanted, um, chest or whatever the item stack is uh into that otherwise it will not work 
So, if we load this up. I took these back, so I got the achievement. Wow. Alright, um. There. Protection 10, Thorns 10. So, if I get something to try to hit me. Come here. Come at me, bro. Let's do game mode. Yeah. Shoot me. You just hurt yourself. You just hurt yourself. Look at this. They can't even hurt me because I have this protection 10 on. They're going to kill themselves by hurting me. Look at this. Boom. 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 Look at that. It kills them. Look at that. That, that was pretty cool. Um, okay. Uh, so that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, just wanted to mention, we actually got to 400 subscribers the other day, so good job, everybody. Um, let's keep up the good work. Um, we're almost halfway to 1,000, which is insane. I never would have thought that I'd get anywhere close to this, even. Um, but thank you, guys. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if this helped you. And I'll, uh, I'll see you.